There's a buzzy bee. No. It's not going to hurt you. Try to relax. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. You're always, always looking, aren't you? So you're always looking for where the flies are, where the buzzy bees are. And you're tense, aren't you? It, yeah, it's a tense. You're I not, like... You're not relaxed. Jacko started wearing noise-cancelling headphones two years ago, and the change in him is incredible. Jacko's autism can mean ordinary noises are painful and overwhelming. He can cope so much more with everyday noises, but I worry that it cuts him off from the world. Hold in the middle. Two, three. Very good. If you'd learn to do these jobs really, really well, one day you might be able to have your own house. Yeah. And put your own clothes in, in your washing machine. Have your own washing machine. A, a black washing machine. You want a black one, I know. I'm thinking about his adult life now, but I learned that a few years back that you've got to plan ahead and you've got to think ahead. There we go. And we put the washing on. Yeah. When they told me he was autistic, I was terrified. Yeah, I found it difficult to talk about. And then when I did talk about it, when I did open up, people didn't really understand, especially my friends, you know, my male friends. Men are crap in situations like that. <laughs> I knew pretty early on that Jacko had an incredible amount of joy in him, you know, that, that was, that's always been there, and, and that he really loved life, and that all, that all I needed to do was work out what life on his terms was and live it with him. I know that some people look at me and think, you're deluded about your son, you know. I, kn I know people have thought that. They're called wind turbines. Wind turbines? Turbines. Turbines. Yeah. You cannot put a limit on any child, especially a child with special needs. You cannot. Now, what should we talk about then? You, we don't have to talk. We don't have to talk. You just can just look at them. Yeah. Like I always say, it's like it's, I'm being led by the hand by my child, not the other way around. Like once you get your head around that, you start to think, my child is just wired differently. And that's like an incredible journey that I'm gonna go on with him to work all that out with him. <laughs>